Dibble and dabble a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Alright, so. Yeah. Conscious. Yeah. 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 When I kiss you, I get a spark. Your body a work of art. Horny thoughts after dark. Used to stay up late to just talk. We was moving fast, trying not to get caught. Damn, your skin so soft. Let me open up your heart, cause life too short till death do its part. Uh, knew it from the start. I'm freezing. Yeah, yeah, I'm freezing. F off to the E, E, Z, I, M, G, D. It's cold in here I said I haven't even had pre-workout yet god what is it with me I have so much energy for 6.50 in the morning and I'm here for it it's great but good morning today's gonna be a different kind of vlog we're gonna do a single day because I just woke up really in the mood to film and the clips from now can't really fit into next week's vlog because next week's vlog is gonna be a very exciting fun amazing most ridiculous bucket list experience of my life because I'm going somewhere amazing on Monday leave it in the comments if you can guess if you already know obviously don't ruin it for anyone but I'm, I'm intrigued if anyone can guess where I'm going but it's an amazing bucket list place that I've always wanted to go to my entire life and I'm so grateful to be going like I literally cannot believe I'm going and I'm going with one of my friends Ebony as well which is amazing so it makes it even more special because it's work and I'm with one of my pals like what could actually be better than that experience please but anyway as I said today is just going to be a single day vlog so I'm on the way to the gym I'm going to get there for 7am which is when it opens I'm going to be one of those people stood by the door waiting for them to open the doors which is fine I've done that before it's a bit embarrassing but I just look like a really keen bean um and I'm going to try and smash out an upper body day before Tash picks me up at 10 and then we're going to go do a shoot day which is one of my favourite things to do and I haven't done a proper shoot day in so long like I shot some bits the other day with Summer which you'll have seen in last week's vlog but I haven't done like a full drive to a location take like six outfits shoot them all etc in a really long time I think the last time I did an actual shoot day apart from last Wednesday was like the 28th of August or something. So it's been a very, very long time. And I'm looking forward to just spending the day with one of my besties. We haven't done a shoot day together in so, 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 so long. And just really getting back into the mojo of like shooting regularly, like getting back into the swing of things because I am very easily overwhelmed. I burn out quite quickly. Um, and that's because I literally do do too much. Like I am such a busybody. You've probably noticed. Or actually have you because I don't really tend to film that much of my days because I am just so busy but I tend to just be always on the go like I'm always 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 busy whether it's filming editing replying to emails planning out content scheduling content like doing links links by the way take a very long time if you've ever like seen a post go up and the links go up like an hour later it genuinely takes so long like if you think right if you're asking me for a link to a pair of my jeans and all the information you've got is ASOS, right? So you're going on that website obviously having to look for the jeans. I have to do the exact same thing if they're a pair of jeans that aren't like really, really new in. Um, so I have to also go through like my like to know it and try and find them or I have to go through the website and try and find them. And then I always make sure that if there is an, even one size out of stock, that I link as similar as I can find. So I will then scour every website that I can think of, which is either, sometimes I do a range of price points, but sometimes I try and do really similar and I will literally scour the internet to try and find you the most similar items that I possibly can. And I don't just go on Google and put in like blue straight leg jeans. I will literally go on websites and search and look at the pictures and like make sure that they look similar. Um, so it does take quite a long time and I want to make sure there is always similar items because I know how frustrating it is if I go on someone's Instagram and they've linked something and it's not there anymore. So I always try and make sure that like you definitely have it. But anyway, I've gone off on a whole tangent. I um, I burn out really easily, which is something I'll talk about another day, I'm sure. But this year has been crazy, crazy busy and I feel like I'm finally like I think I've hit the peak of the hill and I'm finally on the way back down in the chaos. And with Christmas coming up, like it's busy for work, but it's not too bad. I'm still on top of everything and it's gonna be, and I think I'm gonna be all right. Like I think it's gonna be quite smooth sailing, which is really handy. 
but all I am gonna say is if you are someone who follows me on any of my platforms whether you are watching my YouTube whether you go on my Instagram whether you watch me on TikTok which by the way I upload on TikTok more than anything else at the moment please 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 make sure that you are engaging so whether you just drop a like every time I post a picture or you drop a comment maybe save it if you're on YouTube like drop a comment every now and then like it all those things really help not just me as a creator to be seen by you guys but also for you to make sure that you still see my content because I don't know about you but I've noticed there's certain people I follow who I haven't seen in so long and then as soon as I go and drop a few likes on their Instagram they suddenly start appearing again so if you do like my content and you want to see it please make sure that you go and engage and do all those things because it really does help me but it also means that you guys get to see my stuff as well which is obviously ultimately the goal that's why you follow me because you want to see what I'm up to and what I'm doing I'm trying out a new Naked Harvest today I picked up a few bits in the Black Friday sale because they had like up to 50% off so I thought I would treat myself get a few different bits I'll try and remember to show you later but um I picked up two new pre-workouts I bought sour worms again because it's my all-time fave and then I just bought like a few other bits but everything I got is amazing and I really like it so let's give this a little test this is called fruity tingle oh I need to mix it everything's like stuck at the bottom I sometimes don't realize and then I don't mix it and then my last little bit is like oh do you know what that tastes like it's like Lucas Aid pink lemonade if you've ever had that that's exactly what this tastes like and it tastes a little bit I think the tingle is more like a fizzy which is quite nice because I'm used to the ones that are just like a drink I do actually have the I've got the blueberry lemonade one as well but I don't really like that very much I don't find the flavor as strong but the sour worms and sour peach I love blueberry lemonade I feel like me and James are just gonna have to get through it like we're just gonna have to grin and bear and just go through like it doesn't taste bad but these taste nicer delish now finish this i'm actually just finished this while i'm walking going to ignore the state of me. I haven't finished my eyeliner. I haven't done my lipstick. I also haven't brushed out my hair because I like to leave it for like five minutes before I brush it through. So please ignore the state of me. I also tanned last night and I used my Bare by Vogue one because my loving tans just run out, which is what I typically use. Bare by Vogue is what I used to use and I love it so much, but I find the color doesn't last too long. So I tanned last night and I'm quite nicely bronzed, but I find that within like two or three days it's gone. So I tanned knowing that I'm probably gonna tan tomorrow night again, ready for going on my trip. And then, I nearly said where it was then, <laughs> ready for going on my trip and then, yeah. But I mentioned that Naked Harvest came, so I thought I would show you what I got because I picked up quite a few bits. Some of this I've tried already, some of it I haven't. So I'm gonna go through the bits that I've already tried first and then I'll show you the rest. Um, first, we have the Sour Worms, which I've already told you is my fave. This is the best thing ever. Such a good pre-workout. It gives you that like nice tingle without it being too much, which is quite nice. And then I got another pre-workout, which is Fruity Tingle. These say they do 25 servings, but I feel like they do a little bit more than that. Um, but I feel like it's roughly that, maybe a little bit more. Like I've gone through one and a half sour worms and I've been using them for maybe two months now-ish. And James also has them. So I don't know, maybe it's fine. But yeah, I've got those two. And then I also got this one, which is the Tropical Iced Tea pre-workout i know not everyone has like a million different flavors of pre-workout but where i have them five to six times a week i like to mix it up so i don't get bored of the same flavor so that's why i've got a few to try out and then obviously if i don't like them i don't repurchase if i do then i do hence the sour worms um then i picked up some bcaas in strawberry and coconut I've used two packs of the mango and pineapple one by Naked Harvest and I wanted to mix it up a bit. I had a sachet of the strawberry and coconut in my last order and I quite liked it. So I thought I'd get one of these and then I can have this one for the time being rather than like just keep using the mango and pineapple and getting bored of the flavour. Um, then I got some protein which I tried yesterday and it's so good i can't tell you um i did buy the little scoops so this is like a clip scoop which is really handy because a lot of the time i'm not sure if i'm putting the right amount in so i just thought it was easier to buy the scoops and they were on offer on black friday all of this was black friday for like up to 50 percent off um but this is the vanilla pancake batter and it's so delicious and i thought where i put protein into pancakes 
that makes sense to have like a vanilla pancake one and then like hello amazing flavor then i got some bloat tea this is bloating wellness tea i didn't realize this is loose leaf so i need to get one of the little strainer things um and then last but not least i have two moon milks this one annoyingly the they have like lids inside like you can see here and it wasn't on properly so it kind of like went a little bit everywhere but this is delicious me and james had it last night i've got the i think it's chocolate something but it's basically like a hot chocolate and these are like nighttime drinks so they're really good for like calming you they taste delicious they're really low cal i think they're only like yeah for, this one's 40 calories per serving i think the other one's 50 but they're so delicious the salted caramel one tastes so good and it's good for you so that's really you know win-win and the last thing i got was another moon milk in vanilla maple chai so i try and have these before i go to bed so it's a little bit of sugar in the evening for me because i don't know about you but i'm such a sugar fiend i love that little like hit of sugar just before i go to bed like i just like a little sweet treat so they're really good because i get my little sugar hit without having to have like a full-blown hot chocolate or like a chocolate bar or something so i really like those but i'll leave the links to everything down below i don't have a code i don't work with naked harvest i just really like them i think they're great products and i feel like if you find something good and you find something that works you should always rave about it because chances are someone else will love it too and i don't want to gatekeep i like sharing my things i like sharing my secrets so yeah um that's what i got from them i'm quickly finishing my coffee and i'm just gonna have like a i don't know peanut butter bagel or something for breakfast because i want to eat something before i leave and i've got about half an hour so that seems like a pretty good snack um and then i need to get ready and then me and tash heading out and it's quite a let me show you what the weather's like it's it's not oh god i'm bringing up the foliage with me ow i've got my dried flowers here from the other day but um the weather is a bit weird today it's not the best but it's also really good for shooting in because it's that perfect like <laughs> look at the state of me right now i've got all the cupboards wide open where i've been filming what i just did i've got washing up i've got washing like if this isn't real life i don't know what it is but um this is perfect shooting weather because it's overcast so it looks a bit like well but this is perfect weather because it means that the lighting's not going in and out it's quite bright overcast um and it's just perfect for shooting basically i hate shooting in direct sunlight because it's just too harsh and i think this is what the weather's going to be like where i'm going and it's going to be really white and beautiful and oh my god i really want to tell you maybe i'll tell you at the end of this video because by the time this video goes up you'll have seen anyway but I want to keep the suspense a bit longer, you know, just in case you haven't seen my Instagram. <laughs> okay, this is the weather. So, okay, it definitely looks a lot darker on the camera, but it's very kind of overcast and white. My poor balcony, I miss having my balcony furniture out. I bought these covers on Amazon because I've got rattan furniture and they've been a game changer. <sighs> I need to get this rug up. I forgot to pick it up the one day and it got really wet and it's just soaked. So I'm waiting for it to dry out a little bit. And I'm thinking of maybe hanging it over the side just so it kind of lets the water drain out. And then I'm gonna chuck it in the bath with some fairy liquid and try and just like hose it down and hope that it looks a bit nicer because I'm really worried about the fact it's gonna go really funny. I know it's an outdoor rug, so obviously it's meant to be like out in all weathers, but I just want to make it look a bit nicer than this. And then these all flew off. In, and then this little plant flew off the table the other day. So that's why it's over there. And that little lantern thing, I want to, I really want to respray it and make it white or something and then put it inside because it's got really rusty being outside. So that needs to come in. Um, and yeah, the other chair's covered up as well, but I love my balcony. It's just a shame it's all covered up, but obviously it's winter. I like all the little leaves too. He. This is always my life when I go on trips. Everything is washed and just piled up and it's all set in piles because I know some of it I need to pack. So I don't want to put it away if I'm going to pack it. So I thought I'll just leave it here. And then when I pack tonight, I can just like throw everything in and then put the rest away afterwards. And I do need to take some of the stuff that I'm taking to shoot. So it makes sense to just pack when it's all like readily available. So I don't forget anything. But I need to stop waffling because I really do need to go in a minute. Let's go. Ah. <sighs> We're in the car. We've got a Tash and we've got a Costa. Hello, hello. I got the new Toblerone latte and it's actually really good. It doesn't taste very Toblerone-y, so I'm not entirely sure why it's like the Toblerone latte. I did have the little like, Toblerone on top, but it was really gum. Really gum. Really gum. It's, <laughs> it's gum. really yummy. I've had caffeine and I've had pre-workout this morning, so I'm like this. I'm wired. But we're nearly at where we're gonna shoot and we're basically gonna do like one place and just try and get as many outfits as we can. We did plan on doing 10 outfits. The only problem is it's now, what time is it? 11.39. 11.39 and we've still got like five minutes to get there. But I'm wearing my little onesie from Adenola that I got in my, it's in my last haul video, I'll show you. But it's 
it's great i love it the only thing is when i need the toilet i have to literally strip because obviously i've got the sweatshirt and then a whole onesie underneath so that's a bit of an experience but otherwise can't complain really comfy um but yeah we've just been having a nutter the weather's great i showed you already like it's i mean it's not as overcast as it was earlier like it's a little bit patchy in the clouds but it should be fine um and yeah all good oh that's that little like winterland neverland place oh uh, kazoo oh uh, we don't like kazoo <laughs> sorry but yeah <laughs> we're nearly there i need to um brush my hair out again as well because it's gone very like this side's all like dropped really nicely this side's still quite there so i need to just give it a good brush through and just Brush, yeah. Brush, brush. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna carry on drinking my coffee. so windy and it's so cold like if my hand i mean you can kind of tell my hands are red because my fingers look really dark but it's so cold and we're freezing but we're still powering through and we're two outfits down we're on the third we've packed 10 but we've said that we'd be okay if we just got six because it is so cold outside um and we're going to shoot next weekend as well but phew, it's very very cold <laughs> i'm in my little jeans i've got uggs on as well and i've got my little song want bag which i've actually not used before but i really like it it's kind of like the little a puzzle but not as expensive and not as like bougie um but i do have a little strap on it that's meant to be like cut off this is the tag but i didn't realize it was so annoying to get off so i haven't cut it off before coming and i should have done because it's just on there but it's fine if i hold it the other way you shouldn't be able to see it and the other way's got like a cute little buckle as well i'll leave it linked because it is a really cute brand actually i really like the stuff they have but i went for this color because i thought this color was a bit different to everything i've already got but they did also have like black and cream and stuff and now i'm kind of feeling like i should have got the black because i don't really own any black bags but i just thought this one was a cute color are you ready for round two i am you don't look it i am my nose is <laughs> My nose. That's so funny. It's a little. My nose. It's so I've cold. I've blown my nose today as well. There shouldn't be anything up there. <laughs> Doesn't it like regenerate from the back of your throat or something? No. Grace, right, let's do this. <sighs> my god. <laughs> this is really difficult in a girl. Oh, Ooh, posty. Oh, Hello, I'm, stuck. <laughs> I'm sat on it and I'm like. <sighs> <laughs> this is quite <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I want to let him like, ooh. Oh, I thought of another song that we sing wrong the other day. Whoa. And I can't think what it was. Oh. Oh. You know, like, 21, can you do so oh, for yeah. me? Mm. I always thought it was, can you hit a little wrist flex for me? What <laughs> Not, is it? It's rich flex. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was wrist flex. Yeah, I thought it was wrist flex. <laughs> So, me and Tash thought that, um, I mean, it sounds ridiculous now because we all know the words, but we thought that um, Bejeweled was, um, <laughs> and I miss Spider-Land because she dated Spider-Man. It's not. <laughs> it's it's sparkling, sparkling. Which makes a lot more sense when you think about the fact the song is called Bejeweled. It's like, um, what's that other song where it's like, get a lager, Starbucks lovers. Oh yeah, you know it's um, actually of ex lovers, but yeah. then people thought it was Starbucks, Starbucks lovers. But I was like, yeah. that doesn't make sense because it no. doesn't even sound like Starbucks lovers. No, I know. Got a long that was list. a weird one. Yeah. Got a long list. Of Starbucks, Starbucks lovers. Oh, I need to charge my phone, don't I? I'm on twenty percent. Yeah. So we need to give it five minutes. Fine. 
I got a black space baby. And I'll write your name. 21. Can you do stuff for me? We um, have decided to sit in the car for a little bit because it's so cold. And we have decided to not do 10 outfits because that was really ambitious when it's so windy and so cold that we can't really get that much done. Um, I'm really regretting my outfit choices because it's really cold. I know. <laughs> I have probably one, two, three, four. I have five that I could do. How many do you want to do? That's the question. Just because it's cold and it's <laughs> gross. No, I know. I say we do another. We've done three, so I reckon let's aim for another four. Maybe three, because I can't be asked to change that many times. Well, I was going to say another two, but okay. I think let's, okay, let's meet in the middle then. Let's do another three. Okay, let's do three. So then we've done six. Yeah. Yeah. I need to actually look at the pictures I've really got. Make sure I like them. Oh, I just burnt my mouth. I should have done more of the, like, full lengths, because I was literally taking... Hang on, let me try and show on the vlog. There's one picture I'm literally taking off. Where... It's like, I'm flying. It's giving Hogwarts student about to fly off. <laughs> oh well. These are cute. We like these. These are quite cute and minimal. They are. A plus. It's, it's really difficult because it's so windy. So we're kind of having to put our hair up when we don't want to because uh -huh. it's just too windy. But then I want some with my hair down because I don't want it to all be with my hair up and it's just... Like my hair was curly and within five minutes it's not curly anymore, so you know. When some you lose some. I don't think I've even got a picture where I'm like taking off because it I was in my first outfit literally taking off. Look at that little face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a grandma. <laughs> it's just the light. <laughs> I mean the lighting's great. Oh I know. Right, we need to go do some more. It's half one. Jesus it doesn't look that windy though, their hair's not really moving, although she is holding her scarf. Is she holding her scarf because she's talking or is she holding it because it's flying off? I think she's holding it because I think she's cold. It is windy a little bit, I can see the trees. Their hair's not really moving though, so no. I'm thinking it might be alright. I don't think it's windy as it was. Where are you going, mister? I think he's going to park here. Oh, he's, I don't know what he's doing. No, you're not. What is he doing? He's indicating the wrong way. Yeah. For what he's doing. What? to go down there. Bye. <laughs>